All right, great. We've got a tornado warning, so sorry I had to cut you off there, Dave. Uh, this is going to be in northern uh, St. Charles County, just north of Wentzville, north of O'Fallon. You see the red box and into southern Lincoln County. I'm trying to pinpoint exactly where this rotation is, so let me zoom out a bit and give you the bigger picture. Here's St. Louis, here's the tornado warning in red, northern St. Charles County into southern Lincoln County as well. If you're in Troy, this is past you, you're in the clear. Let me zoom in and switch over to those Doppler winds so I can kind of get a, a feel for where this, this is. Uh, it's going to be probably right along this line right here, just north of Wentzville. And if I track that east, Kristen or Kent, can you help me out with the speed? I'm thinking probably 35 to 40. East at 40. East at 40? East at 40. Thank you. I'm going to back out a little bit. So we're zoomed in on northern uh, St. Charles County and southern Lincoln County right here, just north of Wentzville and moving east at about 40 miles per hour. That gets it into Josephville in about five minutes, uh, St. Paul in about nine minutes, and uh, you see Golden Eagle and up into northern St. Charles County. So right now it looks like this rotation is avoiding this kind of highly populated area along 70 from Lake St. Louis and St. Peter's as well. I'm going to get rid of this and actually loop the, the uh, Doppler winds here to get an idea of the trajectory. It does look more east there's kind of two areas, two notches to keep an eye on. One is right here, and then the other is kind of crossing 61 just north of Wentzville. Both of those spots are where we're noticing a little bit of rotation. Let me stop the uh, loop here and put the warning back on, and you'll see that warning covers both those spots. So right here and right here. And then, of course, the red line is the the warned area. So moving off to the east, right now it looks like if you're in Wentzville and probably O'Fallon, we'll have to keep an eye on, on this little notch right there. Uh, right now it looks like it's going to miss you to the north. Switch back over to the typical Doppler you're used to seeing. And anywhere along that line, you can end up with not only these little brief rotations that can create isolated brief tornadoes, but also damaging winds. It looks like uh, they've got this pinned at about the St. Paul area, just east of Flint Hill. So there's St. Paul, and that's one of those notches right here. So again, just north. It's not very far north, but it is north of, of Wentzville and just to the west of St. Paul. So St. Paul, we're talking in about nine minutes, eight minutes. So we're zoomed in on northern St. Charles County. This white line right here is the county line where you start to get into uh, Lincoln County. There's Old Monroe. So eight minutes into St. Paul, which is north of O'Fallon, we can see right here. So this is a tornado warning. It is a Doppler indicated at this point, and uh, this is going to be moving east at about 40 miles an hour right towards St. Paul. If you're in Old Monroe, anywhere along, this is 79 right here. That's where that rotation is going to cross very shortly. So again, tornado warning. We're zoomed in tight. I'll give you the big picture here in a second, but we're zoomed in tight to show you this. Uh, this has 5,295 people in it. That may sound small, those people want to be warned for sure, but it's interesting because the rotation is just north of a really highly populated area from uh, St. Peter's, Wentzville, and O'Fallon, and some of them may actually be able to hear sirens going off and want to know what's going on, but uh, <clears throat> potential there for uh, a tornado out of this portion of the line right here, just north of Wentzville. Let's put a little longer track on this too, because I mentioned some of the short term but While also, you set that up, Steve, they've also mm -hmm. issued an, uh, an additional severe thunderstorm warning for Central Green and Jersey counties until 5.30 around the Ellsbury uh, area over toward Eldred. Uh, those storms are moving to the east at about 30 miles per hour. Thank you. That's meteorologist Kent Earhart. Uh, we're working together as a team to track this. He just told us this portion of the line uh, extended the severe thunderstorm warning. So, yeah, Jerseyville now in a severe thunderstorm warning. Here's the bottom line. This line is strengthening. The ingredients are favorable it moves into St. Louis, and we expect, I think there's just going to be all yellow boxes representing severe thunderstorm warnings all up and down this line, and then, of course, we have to watch for isolated brief tornadoes like we're tracking moving towards St. Paul right now. Um, this line doesn't have any uh, warnings except for the one in around Rolla and Phelps County, but that may intensify too, and I think we're going to end up with a lot of yellow boxes and basically the entire line being warned. So with that said, let's get rid of the boxes and just show you the big picture here. 
Line of thunderstorms, threat for damaging wind, large hail, anywhere along the leading edge. Then we watch for isolated tornadoes that can develop. We see some rotation on radar in northern St. Charles County, uh, maybe even into southern, extreme southern, southeastern uh, Lincoln County. I'll zoom in on that a little bit. And uh, we'll see, they're also talking on about on that same section of the storm of the line that you're talking about outside of the tornado, uh, very strong winds in that area, even if it's not they're not tornadic. There's a lot of thunderstorm wind gusts in there. And that's hitting Wentzville, by the way. So yeah. even though we talk about uh, Wentzville O'Fallon here and the rotation being a little bit to the north and it looks much weaker now. It lo in fact, it looks like it's going more linear. I'll show you that here in a second. But we're dealing with some really strong winds. That's what that bright green is. Those are raindrops that are going towards the radar. So those are really strong winds. And Kent, what did you say? Like 60, 60 70, 65 miles an 60 hour. 60 to yeah. 65 mile an hour winds. And that can create some damage. So let's put a, a quick track on this as well. Um, from southern Lincoln all the way down. Let's include Wentzville. And just know that the rotation looks weaker and is a little farther north of the Wentzville to St. Peter's to O'Fallon towns and that gets it into uh, Lake St. Louis in about seven minutes. That would be winds down here, strong winds. The rotation looks weaker and it's right up in here around northern uh, St. Charles County, maybe around southern Lincoln. Uh, O'Fallon about 11 minutes, that would be winds. And then you see some of the other cities in the path of that storm. What I saw here, I'm going to, what, what we're looking at, these Doppler winds, they help me pinpoint where there's ro rotation. And what we were tracking here was a little rotation right back around here. And it's not real strong. And then it looks like it intensified with this gust a little bit. So this is the gust. This is the strong winds gusting out. And that rotation looks a little weaker now, but still uh, a radar indicated tornado, tornado warning uh, that continues. And that red box highlights you, for you where that, that warning is. Um, it is until 5.30. And uh, that is, again, radar indicated. Let's kind of zoom out. So what I'm going to do is just kind of back out. I zoomed in really close. Want to give folks who are hearing sirens and need to take action, head to your tornado shelter, even if it's radar indicated. We hope nothing actually touches down and does damage. Keep in mind, just like Kent said, he's really absolutely right about this, that even if it's not a tornado, damaging straight line winds are possible out of this. So you definitely, even if you're not in the red box, if you're in the yellow, just be inside and be away from windows. But as I zoom out a little bit, you'll see St. Louis pop up here. So this is extreme northern St. Charles County and maybe parts of uh, southern Lincoln County involved with that rotation. But as that whole line comes our way, we're going to deal with probably some strengthening. In fact, I can already see it. I mean, you can really, you can really see the deeper reds starting to flare up as those cells come our way. And the one that's hitting Washington and Union... See how that's starting to turn a little more linear? So this is more of a line. That happens, and then especially if it starts surging, we might end up with some stronger winds estimated by the radar that would warrant a severe thunderstorm warning. So if you're in uh, Franklin County, uh, southern part of St. Charles County, St. Louis here in Jefferson County, we're definitely watching this. And I think this is an environment that has the ingredients that could uh, allow this to flare up a little bit. And as and then, you know, Steve, that's rolling right into uh, eastern St. Charles and eventually into St. Louis County. The Weather Service is using, actually, you talked about the cone of silence uh, on the radar that you can't really see anything that's too close to the radar site. They're using the Illinois radar to see some cores that are building right on top of the Weather Service office right now and also getting reports in a very heavily traveled area along 64 and Clarkson right now of hail. So this is going to be rolling through, as we said earlier, this is going to be rolling right through the metropolitan St. Louis area during the heat of the uh, uh, rush, rush hour. hour. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're going to, if you can wait, if you have somebody at work that's going to be going through this, you might want to give them a call and say, just hang out for a while because it's not worth the risk. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a good point. I mean, you don't want to drive into this. Um, so you're watching uh, First Alert 4 and we're going to start First Alert 4 at 5 o'clock right now as we're as we're now at uh, f almost 5 p.m. Uh, all right, let's do a big setup here, big picture here, reset. So zooming out, we've got a bunch of severe thunderstorm warnings, all the yellow boxes. We've got a tornado warning in northern St. Charles County, a little weaker signal there, but still might have some rotation, radar indicated tornado warning. And then this section of the line, uh, which if I show you on the... Uh, 
St. Louis radar here, as opposed to using the one that's over at the airport. I was trying to kind of interrogate the storm where the rotation was. So now I'm using the St. Louis radar. See all that red flaring up? As that comes our way, I think we're going to see some more severe thunderstorm warnings possible out of that. In fact, it looks like we have a brand new one. Yeah, there's a new one for northeastern St. Charles County and northern St. Louis County. And it's right around the town and country area. And that one's moving northeast at about 25 miles per hour. Okay, and that's, that is going to be um, the one that you see into St. Louis County. Let me zoom out a little bit and get back in. So there's the big picture. I'm okay. Okay. Um, there's the big picture, and zooming in, there's a couple cells out ahead. This is interesting, these isolated cells, like in, Jeff in uh, east of Chesterfield right now and actually right over the radar. There's that cone of silence. Kent was just talking about this, by the way. That, that cone of silence right there because the radar doesn't look up. So there's actually a storm right on top of it. There's an isolated storm east of Chesterfield. Severe thunderstorm warning, not just for that, but really for that line that's coming in from the west so this is all a brand new severe thunderstorm warning because of this that's coming our way with a threat of 60 mile an hour winds and uh, potential for uh, some uh, uh, maybe up to about quarter size hail is what we're thinking right now out of this and just in this just in this new severe thunderstorm warning we have 552,000 people and the other one that's over in St. Charles County we've got uh, 219 so you know we're at uh, 780,000 people just in these warnings here that we're talking about and then of course on top of that we have to monitor the threat for rotation along that uh, leading edge kind of right See this inflow right in here? That's where that rotation would be. So about. that's north of O'Fallon. So if you're in O'Fallon and Wentzville, Wentzville's getting hit. Be inside, away from windows. We've got uh, some strong storms coming your way. Um, uh, hey. They're telling us that uh, the Weather Service is saying they have a picture of a tornado on the ground in Athensville, Illinois, north of Greenfield, uh, so we're in our warned area. That's up, up north. There. Yeah. Yeah, there's Athensville. Oh, look at the hook echo on that. Yeah. This is why it takes a team. I'm focused on one storm with a potential tornado uh, over northern St. Charles County, and boom, Kent tells me about this. You see this hook right here? They've got a radar indicated, uh, and they've got a picture of a tornado right in that hook. This is crossing out of the Green County uh, line, Green County line into McCoopin County. So see this yellow right here? That's the county line. So if you're in extreme, this would be extreme southeastern Green County. We've got a tornado on the ground. If you're in Carrollton and Whitehall, you're in the clear from this, okay? This is going to move to the east towards Barr. There's Palmyra, and there's uh, 111. And Headache probably going to stay. There's Headache. It's probably going to stay north of you. Let's get an idea of the speed on this. East Thank you. 30. East of 30. Thank you so much. That's meteorologist Kristen Cornett, meteorologist Kent Earhart, uh, and we're all working this as a team. We appreciate it. Okay, so we've got a picture of this on the ground, observed tornado, 11 minutes, crossing 111, right just south of Palmyra. Now, Palmyra, you're going to about to get hammered by some rain. This is called the forward flank. So you're going to get hit by this forward flank, the rain, the wind, but it's the rotation right here in that hook. And if you see the, the hook kind of hooks around like that, in that shape, it's a good indication that the rain is rotating and that's why it takes on that shape. We're gonna stop the uh, radar and then switch over to the Doppler winds to see. It's not flaring up real obvious uh, on this particular, but I'm gonna look a little farther north from the Lincoln, Illinois radar, and there it is. So um, it's right here southeast of Athensville. So we mentioned Athensville, you're in the clear now. Okay, this is crossing the, this is Green County, this is McCoupin County, bar. You need to be in your tornado shelter. If you're in Palmyra, you need to be in your tornado shelter. We see it better here using the radar out of Lincoln. Let me just kind of back up. Look how that thing just flared up. That's, that's not a tornado right there. And then all of a sudden, see those brighter colors? What that is is really strong winds, and we see it because the raindrops are moving really fast away from the Lincoln radar, and this is towards. So that is rotation right there. Okay, this is southeastern uh, Greene County moving into uh, McCoupin County. Let me get a speed on this, and then I want to go back to our radar-indicated tornado warning in northern St. Charles County. Uh, let me get a track. You said east at about 40 and I'm running out of real estate, so I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit to get a better idea here. And um, east at 40, it's going to hit Palmyra, and then it's going to cruise through the northern part of Macoupin County. So if you are in Carlinville, you're going to be in the clear from this rotation right now. This stays north of you. Carlinville's about here. 
Palmyra in about 11 minutes, and you see some of the other cities are going to be in the path of that storm as that cruises across, again, northern uh, McCoupin County, eventually into Montgomery County, too. This would be and in that about— has a, that has a, a history of ping-pong ball and golf ball-size hail. Wow. This, this is a—yeah, this is a nasty storm. Um, and look at that curl. See that curl right there? That's the hook. And then the hail would be right in here. See that black line, by the way? The reason there's a black line right there is because it's a uh, observed tornado. So we just color code those borders of the warning to visually allow us to know, like, hey, this has been seen. Sometimes observed by radar, but this one was observed as and they got pictures of it. And uh, tornado on the ground. I mentioned the curl. You can really see it right in here. What that is, what that curl is, it's air flowing up and twisting up as it does. And because it's going up so fast and tw uh, rotating up, rain can't come down. So that's why there's not a whole lot of rain here. So where you see all that yellow and red, that's the uh, downdraft, the rear flank downdraft, we call it. And right on that curl, that hook, that's where we're gonna be dealing with a tornado. Go Just ahead. Just very Kate. quickly too, let's not forget we've got a severe thunderstorm warning in Phelps County. Uh, that, that storm is moving east at about 40 miles per hour. Um, and has been putting down some ping pong ball size hail as well. So that was issued a short time ago. That'll go till 515. Again, that's Phelps County Phelps. in the Rolla area. That's the one we were warning Rolla that right. you need to be inside. And, and I even heard uh, Kent gasp when he uh, saw the radar and, and saw the hail tracker on that. Um, so that would be... This, thank you, Kent, and Kristen, meteorologist Kent Earhart, meteorologist Kristen Cornett, absolutely invaluable here. This is that storm. Yeah, that is that is still a nasty core, Kent, and that's likely putting down some big hail as that moves into Crawford County, probably the core with the biggest hail missing Cuba to the south. Yeah, okay. they've, they've extended into Crawford County uh, for a severe thunderstorm warning now until 6 o'clock. Uh, the storm itself was located near St. James, moving east at about 40 miles per hour, so you're going to... It'll be moving through Sullivan and Cuba and Steelville and Bourbon and Leesburg uh, before too much longer. And that is this storm that Kent was just referring to while I was using the radar to go back and look at that uh, radar indicated tornado warning up around um, northern St. Charles County, which looks like the signal's really falling apart. Are they saying anything about that one in northern St. Charles County? It looks like it's gone linear at this point. Uh, gotta watch this. See these little hooks that come out of that line? That's an indica indication where you can end up a little rotation. Just a heads up, Cuba, no tornado warning now, but this is the type of stuff that attracts my eye and I wanna watch for rotation. Otherwise, this is a nasty storm that has hit Rolla already. You're now in the clear, Rolla, but that large hail is what Kent was talking about, is moving into Crawford County. Uh, let's zoom back up and I'll show you what I, oh, another tornado warning. Yeah, this new tornado for... warning. Southwestern Green yep. and Northwestern Jersey County is the one that we've been tracking. Okay. And, and uh, that's until 530. That's until 530. So if you're in that right. new warning, that, that will extend until 530. Thank you, Kent. So uh, this is in Green County. Green County, you've got multiple cells coming through right now. And the north and the south are both being attacked. The one to the north has exited the county. That is this tornado warning. It's in McCoupin County. We have a new tornado warning. It is south of Carrollton. Carrollton, you are in the clear from this rotation. You're probably going to get some hail and strong winds, but the damage and potential rotation from this new tornado is right here, headed towards Kane. Jerseyville, you're in the clear from this as well. Let's focus in on who's not and get a storm track on this. You can see the hook echo very clearly. It's just to the east of Woodville. Woodville, And again, that's headed towards Kane. Is this one east at 40 as well, guys? Yes. Thank you. Um, that puts it in Kane in about nine minutes. Nine minutes, Kane, be in your tornado shelter. This one... Uh, a unlike, little slower. I'm so sorry. Uh, this one's down to moving east at 25 miles per hour now. 25? Okay. Yeah. Um, so just a little longer before it's in old Kane. Yeah, probably more like a 12 to 15 minute uh, time frame there. Thank you, Kent. I appreciate that. So we have one tornado that was spotted on the ground. That's up here. Palmyra, still need to be in your tornado shelter. One thing I want to tell you, too, um, I, I saw this 
line here in uh, northern St. Charles County. And I said it went linear. See how, well, now the radar is a little messed up, but it's, it's, there you go. See how it's more of a line here? So we don't have the kinks that usually my eye is drawn to for rotation along that line. That's good news. This signal has really weakened out of northern St. Charles County going into Calhoun County and probably out of Lincoln. Any threat for rotation is out of Lincoln now. So that's good news. Big picture here. It's 509. We've got rush hour coming and we have a line of thunderstorms that can produce damaging wind, large hail, and it's entering into a more favorable atmosphere to produce these brief isolated tornadoes. We have three tornado warnings going. Again, one in northern St. Charles County. Looks like the signal's much weaker, but we still have an observed tornado on this in northern Macoupin County. Palmyra, you need to be in your tornado shelter. Here's the thing. This is coming into St. Louis. We could see new warnings flare up on this, and I want you all to stay alert. One thing you can do, too, is... Uh, on our app, on the First Alert 4 weather app, if you're on the home page, scroll down where you see weather now. See that right there? You click on that, that's the live stream. So what we're doing on TV can be in the palm of your hand. And I want, to ha I want you to have that when you're in your tornado shelter if you don't have a TV. Hopefully it reduces the anxiety and we'll walk you through exactly where those threats are, where that storm is. And we are gonna be live streaming on that app on the First Alert 4 News app and on firstalert4.com. I'm sorry, Carolyn Hecker, where is she at right now, guys? She's on the backside of the Wentzville storm. That's good news. Um, is she in the powerhouse uh, Silverado right now? Okay, uh, Caroline, boy, you got, you got pelted by some hail and heavy rain. You're okay now on the backside of this. Can you tell us what you went through? Yes, when we were up north of Troy on Highway 61, uh, we had ping pong size ball hail pelting the Silverado. The windshield is cracked, the crack is growing, the back of the truck is completely dented. There's a few dents in the front. It was incredibly loud, and thankfully my photographer Chris repositioned the truck. We were afraid that our passenger side window was going to break. That's how hard it was blowing in the wind and how hard it was falling. We drove past a pond where it just looked like baseballs were being thrown into the water or fish were jumping. That's how high the water was splashing as this hail fell. And traffic, as we made our way back onto Highway 61, had almost come to a stop as people obviously didn't want to be driving in it, but it was just absolutely deafening how loud this hill was falling and how much of it was falling. And there were puddles of it. We've seen this in the last couple of weeks with storms passing through, just piles of hail. I was able to get out of the car once we kind of stopped, collect some, and they were in fact about ping pong size. So we're just passing through wind school right now, um, south on Highway 61. We've just seen rain. We did hear the tornado siren going off in Troy. Uh, but Steve, that's what we're seeing right about now. Appreciate it. You stay safe, and uh, if you have any questions, let us know. I can guide you while we're on the air, but you're in, you're in a good spot. Just rain backside of the storm. It's the leading edge of this line. That is where the severe threat's going to be, and there it is. Now, this has filled in. This is a brand new severe thunderstorm warning, Franklin County. Anywhere along this line, damaging wind and hail. I'm going to get rid of the uh, warnings for you. While you do that, let me just say, Steve, that that new warning is for southwestern St. Charles, northwestern Jeffco, southeastern Franklin County and southwestern St. Louis County until 6 o'clock. Okay, moving east at what, 40? Uh, 30. Moving east at 30, okay. There's a track on that section of the storm, Villa Ridge, two minutes, St. Clair in about three minutes, Wildwood about 17 minutes, Six Flags area in Eureka in about 20 to 25 minutes. Again, damaging wind, large hail on that. Bottom line is, I think if you look at the big picture, anywhere along the leading edge of this line, there's a threat for the damaging wind, the hail, but then there's also a threat for some brief isolated tornadoes to spin up. Right now we have three warnings, and I wanna zoom in on the one where we have a confirmed tornado on the ground by a storm spotter. Uh, that one is in northern Macoupin County. A lot of folks are in their tornado shelter. Maybe you can turn up the TV so that you can hear me down there, or if you have a phone, a tablet, you can watch us on the live stream. But you should be there already. We warned you about that in Palmyra. It looks like Headache as well, and that rotation is just in between Headache and Palmyra. Again, about, uh, I'd say it was probably seven to 10 minutes ago, uh, they had a uh, confirmed tornado, and this is still a pretty strong signature on radar, and there it is, right over bar. So what you're looking at is the radar telling mm. me there's a real strong rotation signature right here, right just east of bar, actually. This is gonna split headache proper, the downtown. So if you live north of town in headache and you live south of town, or right in Palmyra, this is coming your way, but this is going to uh, head into, uh, in between Palmyra and Headache, 
That would be in about six minutes. Um, so just a matter of minutes, it's going to be running through that area. Uh, and then it'll be crossing 111 and over towards Nilwood eventually. Nilwood timing for you is about 20 minutes. Uh, if you're in Girard as well, uh, it's going to be really close to you, especially if it starts to drift a little bit up to the north. So we've got to watch that. And that would be right on uh, Illinois Route 4. So this is 111 right here. This is Illinois Route 4. We've zoomed into northern Macoupin County. Here's Carlinville, one of the bigger towns in Macoupin County. It's going to miss you to the north. Our friends in Palmyra and Headache need to be in their tornado safe shelter. And this storm has a history of producing a tornado, Nilwood, in Girard. It'll hit you, and that's Illinois Route 4 in about 20, 21 minutes. That's not the only tornado warning we have. Right now, it's the only one that we have that's observed. Um, so the other ones are radar indicated. I'll zoom out a little bit and you'll see the red box here in Greene County, just south of Carrollton. The rotation of the hook is right in there. So that's headed right towards Kane. Kane, we told you earlier, still need to be in your tornado safe shelter. If you're in Carrollton, you're going to get hit with rain and, and wind, but you're safe from this. This is missing you. Any rotation is missing you. You're getting hit by the damaging wind and maybe the hail. So just be inside and away from windows for that aspect of the storm. If I zoom in a little bit and check out the Doppler winds, it's right there. Right there, headed towards Kane and 67. Let's get specific timing. Uh, I, I know if you're getting hit by storms, um, and I'm sitting here in a totally different area zooming in, I'm being real specific with these tornado warnings because I want folks to know exact timing or as close as we possibly can. They're estimates, obviously, but it gives you, uh, give or take a few minutes, an idea. So five minutes crossing 67 Kane. It'll be over you in about four or five minutes. Let me zoom out a little bit and get a bigger track here, a little longer range. This is gonna go out of, this is Greene County right here. This is Jersey County, Jerseyville, you're in the clear. Probably people here uh, maybe hear sirens in the distance and you're in the clear. This is gonna head towards, this one again is radar indicated, uh, rule in northern, northeastern Jersey County, about 16 minutes, kind of near probably north of of fidelity in about 19 minutes. This is also going to come at Macoupin County. Remember, Macoupin County in the northern county right here has an observed tornado on the ground. Palmyra, stay in your tornado safe shelter. But there's another tornado. This is radar indicated at least, so it's really a potential tornado. And I have that going east towards Macoupin County in the town of Polk in about 36 minutes. And we'll watch that really closely for our friends in Carlinville too. Uh, here's Carlinville. So that path may come really close and just south of you. So there's one tornado observed headed towards or especially the south side of Palmyra and towards Nilwood. And there's a second one that's radar indicated. All right. That's not the only tornado warning, but the other one south did look much weaker. And I haven't seen they did not extend it. So that's Good news there. Steve, let's back out just so we can show everybody that we we don't want to forget about our friends down to the south that are all under severe thunderstorm warnings. As you said earlier, uh, we've just got a line now of yellow boxes yeah. from northern Macoupin County all the way down to Phelps County. Uh, the the uh, Phelps County area has had some hail. Uh, there's been some very strong winds in that segment of the storm. Uh, Crawford and uh, Phelps County, uh, you're under a uh, severe thunderstorm warning there, I believe, yep. until 6. Uh, so, yeah, we've and probably just... two hail cores, I would say, if you switch over to the hail tracker. Look at that. Yeah. So that's the storm that Kent's talking about. Go ahead, Kent. Sorry to interrupt. No, that's, I just wanted to point out that uh, all along 44, uh, up through the metro St. Louis area, now yeah. St. Louis County, St. Charles County, uh, and up into, as you were talking about, Macoupin County, uh, just a solid line of yellow boxes, some red boxes for severe thunderstorm warnings. So if you're in the, if you're in the path of that, Obviously, you're going to get hit on the east side here pretty soon with some very heavy rain and the potential for large hail and damaging winds. But look at how thin that line is. This is not going to be something you're going to be sitting in, in uh, stormy conditions for uh, 90 minutes or anything right. like this. This is going to be maybe 20, 30 minutes of very heavy rain, lightning, stuff like that, and then it's gone. Yep. And that's the, the storm you were just talking about. That's the timing for it now, 18 minutes into Eureka. Um, and even quicker into some spots like uh, Wildwood in about 14 minutes. Okay, we've got a, uh, I bet it's the same one, but <clears throat> observed 
tornado now in Macoupin. Yep, it's the same one. So it continues to be observed, right? So if you're in Hedick, uh, you're now getting hammered by the heaviest rain. Give it about two to four minutes and you can come out of your tornado safe shelter. Uh, if you're in Palmyra, I want you to stay there. Most likely it is just south of town right here, but this is the hook. What's happening here is the winds that are flowing into this storm. The inflow is warm and humid. And then here's the outflow. And right at the intersection of that is where we're getting a tornado and not potential. This has been observed by uh, storm spotters. And so that's why you see that uh, Got a thin black line in the red. It's just a visual cue for myself so that I know uh, that it is indeed observed. And uh, that is, let me see here, moving east. These Some of these speeds are a little slower, but this one is moving east. Yeah, it is slower at 20 miles per hour. So let me get you a track on that. Um, I uh, will push it east at 20 and see like Nilwood what the timing is. Um, while you're working you're on that, stream. Steve. Uh, on one second. So uh, that gets it into Bird, South Otter, and then Nilwood. There's Nilwood at 28 minutes. Kent, go ahead. I was just going to say northwestern Madison and southern Jersey counties now in a severe thunderstorm warning, as you can see on your screen, uh, until 518. So... I'm sorry, it was issued at 518 until 545. Yeah, that makes sense, 520 now. Um, and just to speak to what Kent said, he's absolutely right. This isn't going to last forever, so he just told you a new warning, but it only goes for about 25 minutes, and that's because this thing is going to hit. It's going to hit hard, and then it'll move on. But while it's hitting, we want to be there for you. Again, I haven't seen any significant rotation in that tornado warning. Have they said anything about that? I, no. I, I imagine they're just going to let it go and then cancel out because they issued a severe thunderstorm warning here. That's the yellow box and so that to me tells me that uh, they haven't extended the tornado warning because they don't see significant rotation this um, area though I mean the, the population of some of these uh, uh, severe thunderstorm warnings is huge it's one of the reasons why we're still on the air right now uh, here we are at 520 and continuing with uh, first alert for uh, storm coverage 552,000 so that's just this pocket here let's track that storm and get you an idea of downstream who's going to get hit by that and when and again even though you see the red box there that tornado warning much weaker and i think it fizzled out uh, but we'll watch anywhere along this line and uh, see if the uh, areas of rotation along the leading edge if any areas of rotation develop or strengthen notice this one kind of surging out right along 270 near florissant can you um uh, get me the uh, North County camera, maybe in BJC1. Let's take a look at that. This is to the east at about 30, 35 miles an hour. Damaging wind, hail threat, U City, five minutes. Um, if you're in Clayton, 12 minutes, Granite City in about 16 minutes. And it may start to rain before these times, but I'm trying to track these cores for you here. Speaking of the cores, let me stop the radar and zoom in on, on one of these, just give you an idea of of uh, what we're talking about as far as the cores that have the best chance to produce some hail out of these and uh, fluorescent about to get hammered. I mean, we're, we're zoomed in on, uh, you know, Phantom Drive and Dunn Road in 270, uh, right around Hazelwood. Core of hail coming down, probably gonna produce a uh, quarter size hail, might be a little bit larger than that. Go down a little bit south. The hail tracker is just trying to highlight the cores for us. So look at that one really lit up, too. And uh, that's right uh, about Page and uh, McKelvey, Page and Creve Coeur Mill Road. So it gives you an idea of where some of the real intense uh, hail cores are. Let me back out and zoom out and see if anything else really bright shows up. We've got North County in two. But, in two? Uh, we're just seeing dark and overcast. Okay. Yeah, let's keep an eye on that, though. I'll just take a look at it. This is the BJC Skycam Network from Christian Hospital. The storm's coming in. One of the things I wanted to look for is to see if it, if it had a shelf cloud. That's usually an indication of pretty strong winds. Let's get back to the warnings. We've had some new ones come out, and uh, we still have the tornado warning observed right there near Hedick and uh, Palmyra. And then we have this one coming at Kane right now. This one's gonna be canceled. And the rest of this line is severe thunderstorms threat for damaging wind and hail. And just like Kent said, and he's right, we don't wanna lose sight of the fact that farther south, this still has the potential to produce damaging wind and hail. So if you're in Cuba, the worst of it's pretty much happening now and Sullivan as well. And then it's going to be done with. Let's get rid of the boxes here and I'll put a 
a track on that leading edge is where the worst of it's going to be. And again, Cuba and Sullivan kind of getting hit with the heaviest of the rain now, but off to the east at about 30 miles an hour. Steelville, just a couple minutes. Um, you can see it into Maupin in about 24 minutes and some of the other cities in the path of that storm to the south. We go up a little farther on that line and it gets a little messy because it's not just the line. We're also dealing with uh, isolated storms out ahead of the line. And you see that's what's hammering right now. No rotation out of this, just a downpour, but that's what's uh, hammering like Sunset Hills area and coming into Kirkwood and Webster Groves. This right here, that is some pretty strong wind. Let's see what that looks like uh, in the Doppler winds. And if I kind of loop this and see, it hasn't surged and showed me anything really tremendously fast. So that's good news. I'd like to see that. Um, because usually when you get those, those bows there, let me get rid of these boxes, we know anywhere along the line, chance for a severe storm. But usually when you get this bow here, the strong winds coming out, but I didn't see anything as I looked at the uh, Doppler winds that told me that it was intense and maybe more than 60 miles an hour. But still, that can do some damage, can have some uh, hail. This section of the storm right here, there's another one of those bows. That just came out of Gray Summit and headed right towards Eureka. If I take a look at that, um, a little stronger wind there, yeah, potential for some 60 mile an hour winds. It's been kind of riding up 44. The green are raindrops that are moving really fast towards the radar, the radar's up here. And so that's just indicating that right on that, that little leading edge of that bow that I was pointing out for you, there's a potential for some strong, I'd say 60, 65 mile an hour winds right here. And of course, the leading edge of these, we watch to see if there's any rotation. What's up? Back up to your northern tornado. Uh, we've got some video of that. Is that, you're talking about the one that's up in uh, Palmyra right now? Okay. Uh, they have some video. They were efforting to get that on the air. So if you guys can punch that up, let us know. Yeah, just let me know if you get it, guys. In the meantime, we do want to tell you it is confirmed. Uh, spotters, uh, and so there's pictures, there's video. We'll get them to you as soon as we can. But this is a confirmed tornado on the ground. Could still be on the ground just south of Palmyra. I'm zooming in so I can see the, the hook echo here in the towns, but it is now east of 111. If you're in Hedick, you're now in the clear. Hedick, you're in the clear. You can come out of your tornado down. shelter. If you're in Palmyra, hang out in the shelter for just a little bit longer. I'm guessing the rotation is, and that's gonna update. So the rotation showing up right here, that's gonna be right about here when the radar updates. And I can see it in the, uh, what we call reflectivity, kind of the normal, um, the, the normal radar you're used to seeing. It's right in here. That's that little hook. And so south of Palmyra, east of 111, um, and that's going to head towards, let's see who's next. Nilwood, I believe, is next. And we had that moving, I think at like, like 20 miles per hour. I want to adjust my speed here. And uh, 20 miles per hour, we got it into Nilwood in about 19 minutes. Um, what you're looking at over Eureka is some cloud lowering. I can't see if that's what you want to put Eureka and BJC cam also, one for me. They've extended the tornado warning to the east now, I believe. Um, uh, and we've had a one inch hail in Woodson Terrace. So inside the metro area, metropolitan St. Louis now under a severe thunderstorm warning. What? What Kent's saying is um, Woodson Terrace, quarter size hail. I don't think your mic's on. Quarter size hail, and he said that they extended the tornado warning. That's this one that we've been tracking for you just south of Palmera, now east, the rotation east of uh, Haddock. They've extended that to the east. The one that's over Kane right now, thank you, Kent. Keep, keep the reports coming. Really appreciate it. You interrupt me anytime you can and, and bring us the info. Oh, I will. <laughs> I, I appreciate it, though. Seriously, there's, there's a lot going on here. There's a line of storms that, at, at pretty much across our entire coverage area that can produce damaging wind, large hail. We just had quarter size in Woodson Terrace. Look at all the yellow boxes representing those severe thunderstorm warnings. And then, of course, we really have two tornado warnings to consider. I don't know why that hasn't canceled out yet, but but we don't see any rotation on that anymore. Uh, the two that do have rotation, one we tracked for you really well up there in uh, Palmyra and uh, Haddock. That is in northern, uh, northern Macoupin County. This one is kind of near Kane, that rotation, and that's going to move into Macoupin County. We'll keep an eye on it, maybe near just south of Carlinville. But we do have video of this one when it was producing a tornado. We don't know if it is still, but it certainly has a signature on radar. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Gotcha. 
So been 15 minutes. That's meteorologist Kristen Cornett, but it's been 15 minutes since we've seen this confirmation 15 minutes ago. Tornadoes on on uh, to, in the box to your left, Steve. Yep. And that's Bar in uh, Green County, the town of Bar. We were warning warning you on this. You are in the clear now. Again, just a reminder: this is not live. This is video. Um, but this was when it was in Green County, going into Macoupin County, and. Uh, you can see that tornado sucking up the dirt, and I don't see any houses there. That's the really good news. Yeah. Let's hope that it didn't hit any farmhouses or cause any uh, damage other than the fields that are out there. But uh, that is the tornado, confirmed tornado, and that is from this warning here. If you're in Palmyra, this thing is going to be... David Amelotti. Now, he was one of the ones that got this uh, video for us on the air. And what do you what what do you know, Dave? So we got this video within the, li the last 10 minutes. We're still trying to confirm damage reports. We've got a couple of storm spotters in that area that's tracking this, and they're trying to figure out what the damage is. Obviously, they're trying to do their due diligence and staying at safe distance. Yeah. Keep in mind, we got this video. This video was shared with us uh, in the last 10 minutes. Quick correction: that's in Macoupin County, not Green. Bars in Macoupin County. Oh, bars in Macoupin. Yes. Okay. Thank you for that. So this is bar right here. And this is the county line. So that's Green Macoupin. Bars in Macoupin County. So that uh, on the bottom of the screen, we need to change that. It doesn't matter. Here, here this is the deal here. Well, there, there, there's the video full. But the deal is that this rotation on radar is still pretty strong. And it's headed towards Nilwood. So if you're in Nilwood, you need to be in your tornado shelter. What you saw there was about 15 minutes ago when it was in Bar in Macoupin County. And here is that rotation. It's now east of 111. Headick, you're in the clear. Uh, if you're in Palmyra, especially south and southeast of town, give it another five minutes. If you're in Nilwood, this is coming your way as uh, that rotation right there just west of Illinois Route 4 is coming your way. And, of course, that's what it looked like uh, just uh, minutes ago. So that's going to be – I'm timing it out to Illinois Route 4 in about 10 minutes, and then I'm timing it out into Nilwood in about 20 minutes. Uh, so that's the northern Macoupin County storm. Zooming down a little bit towards Kane, the rotation, and I'm on the Lincoln radar. So give me a second. I'm going to switch to our St. Louis radar. There it is, just east of Kane, right here. So if you're in Kane, you're in the clear. Let me switch to the radar you're kind of used to seeing. We call it reflectivity. And I see that hook, and it is definitely east of Kane. So that hook is right in here. And so if there is a tornado, this one was radar indicated, remember? This is going to be heading towards Rule and north of Fidelity. This is in northern Jersey County now. So it came out of uh, southern Green County and Kane, and now it's in northern Jersey County. This is also going to move towards, this is Macoupin County, towards Macoupin County south of Chesterfield and kind of in between Fidelity and Chesterfield, Fidelity's in Jersey County. And they have just issued a new uh, severe thunderstorm warning for that area, southeastern Green, Macoupin, and northeastern Jersey counties. That'll go until 630. Okay. And it looks like they've dropped the uh, tornado warning. That's right. really good news. So this area, that rotation, it's there. It just looks weaker. And so they've said, hey, we don't need a tornado warning on that anymore. Let's, let's monitor it, okay? There's definitely a rotating uh, segment of this storm, and that's what I was tracking to north of Fidelity. What Kent's saying is we have a new severe thunderstorm warning on that cell and kind of north and south of it, and that's right here. It could certainly still produce some big hail, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Notice these isolated cells, too. We'll have to see if they, as they merge with the line, Sometimes there's been studies on this. Sometimes when you get those line uh, merging with uh, isolated cells, it can enhance rotation, and sometimes it can actually take away from it. So we'll have to see what that happens there. We've seen it happening here in St. Louis where isolated cells have been merging with the line. You can see them blow up around Kirkwood and Sunset Hills, and now they're kind of becoming part of the main line. In fact, it looked like one developed right there, right over Creve Coeur, Maryland Heights, and now that's part of the main line. That is all severe thunderstorm warnings, by the way, uh, at the moment. So let's give you an idea, timing-wise, as this comes through St. Louis and goes into the Metro East. There's folks who haven't been hit yet, wondering what's going on, when, when is it going to get into my neighborhood. So